These are the nails a Terminator would wear if the Terminator was a holosexual. Hey everybody, it's Angel, and this video, this manicure is probably the most extra nails I have ever worn. I'm not quite sure what made my brain say, let's take literally the shiniest nail art material there is and then put some crazy pattern gold stickers on top of it. What, like what is happening? While I was perusing the internet, probably up to no good, Amazon recommended the gold hollow vinyl stickers to me. And at this point, I feel like Amazon knows me better than my friends, my family, my boyfriend. Amazon just gets me. They know my deepest, darkest secrets, AKA my purchase history. And there's like 467 designs of these. I don't know, I may have counted wrong. But one of the things I did notice on some of the vinyls, you can see where the die cut through on the hollow, it's kind of warped a little bit. So some of them are cut perfectly and they look great and other ones kind of look a little bit messed up. There's also only three of each pattern plus a French tip type design. So you can't do a full matte in the same pattern. You'll have to mix and match. The circles are only seven eighths of an inch in diameter. So you may notice my nails are shorter than my last few videos because I had to file them down so that the vinyls would fit over them completely. Here they are compared to these silver hollow ones I have from Bundle Monster, which are slightly bigger. Those are about an inch in diameter. For my base coat, I used Oont Peel Off Base Coat because I'm going to be using gel polish and this way I can just peel it off like it never even existed. For my black gel base, I used Bundle Monster Cocktail Dress and I only ended up doing one coat. And then I cured for 60 seconds using my Melody Susie lamp. I'll have it linked down below and ugh, my hands look so dry here, ew. You can see that they're not 100% opaque, but I'm gonna put the mirror powder over it, so it doesn't really matter anyways. And the mirror powder I use is from Twinkle Tea. This is House of Mirrors, and I always just wanna dive right into this shiny tub. I'm also going to use their double-ended silicone applicator. Now, you could also use an eyeshadow sponge, but I don't know, I felt like using this today. After I had a little bit of the powder on the silicone applicator, I just buffed it into my nails. I always struggle with trying to describe what I'm doing when I'm using these powders because it's like, I'm not really doing anything. I'm just rubbing it in. Rub-a-dub-dub, mirror chrome in a tub. Oh my God, that was, I feel really creative today. You wanna give some extra love and attention to the areas of your nails that are a little harder to get at. Like I have square nails, so the corners, I always miss those, or where my skin is on the sides of the nail, and also in the cuticle area. I don't know, maybe that's just because I'm filming, I can't see what I'm doing. And with mirror powder, I always feel like going in with a second layer just seems to make it a little bit more shiny. This time I'm just using my finger just to show you guys that you could use these powders with other tools such as your finger. And here is the powder applied to all of my nails and look at how shiny they are. Can you guys see my hand reflection in there? That is so creepy. I may or may not be giving you the finger right now. And then you wanna get as much of that extra powder off of your skin and on the surface of your nail using a, a nice fluffy brush and just kind of buff it off. This is just an eyeshadow brush that I got in one of the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palettes and I don't like it for eyeshadow, but it works great for this because it has a fluffy end. Then the other end is synthetic and a little bit more stiff so I can get in between those skin crevices. And now that I've buffed until I can't buff anymore, it's time to apply the gel top coat. I'm using Top Gel from Bundle Monster. Why isn't it just called gel top coat? Top Gel. And after I applied my gel top coat, I cured for another 60 seconds and this is what they look like when they are all nice and cured. And the easiest way to get off that excess chrome pigment is to just wash your hands. That's the easiest way. Now I can move on to the gold hollow vinyl portions of this video. And just using a pair of tweezers, I peeled them off the plastic backing and I do gotta give it to these vinyls. They peel great and you don't have to pick out the other pieces. It just peels off perfectly. And then I placed the vinyl onto my nail and then using my finger, I could just press it down to secure it a little bit more. And I also used my tweezers to kind of tap the sides on. 
And then using a pair of cuticle scissors, I could just snip off the excess. And this is the part where most people would paint on some more polish and just remove the vinyls so that there would be a design. But that just seems like I'd be wasting these vinyls because they're so pretty. I actually did this technique a while ago in a video. I think it was back in September. I can't remember. They were silver hollow vinyls though. And I made a little mini tutorial for Instagram and it kind of got reposted everywhere and you wouldn't believe the comments of people saying, you're doing it wrong. What have these people not heard? The number one rule of nail art? There are no rules to nail art. And hey, if this is wrong, then I am happy to be a wrong old hollow terminator. Ah, the internet. It's so fun. Then once I had all the little connectors snipped, I could peel off that excess part and use my finger to just kind of tap them on more. And at this point I realized this one just looks like crooked gold hollow striping tape. And then for my middle nail, I went with this snowflake looking pattern because you know, it's springtime, it's May. Snowflakes are appropriate. Actually living in Buffalo, you never know when a blizzard's gonna happen. When it comes to snipping off the vinyl, you kinda wanna cut it not completely flush to the edge of your nails. You're gonna wanna leave a little bit of a gap there so that when you come in and cover it with top coat, it's going to seal in that vinyl and it's not gonna leave the edges sticking up and peeling up because then you're just going to snag them on something or you're gonna peel them up and you're gonna ruin your mani. And then for the next nail, I thought it would be kind of cool and a way to get more use out of these vinyls to use the inside portion of that first vinyl that I used and just place them individually on the nail. And then once I had them all placed, I could just snip off the edges. And after I got them all on there, I realized, wow, I kind of look like Tony the Tiger. Well, if he was hollow. And for my pinky, I went with another snowflakey type of pattern and I decided to put this one on kind of crooked. I don't know why, but I thought it kind of looked cool. And once I had them all on, my first thought was, I hate the ring and index nail. So very gently, I peeled off those stickers. I had to be super careful since I was wearing oont peel off base coat and then I applied more snowflakes. And I'm very happy I did. These look way better. And then before I added the final layer of top coat, I made sure to push down the vinyl even more just so that it was really, really on there. I didn't want those edges sticking up. Then I added the final layer of top coat and cured for another 60 seconds. And I know what some of you guys are wondering, can these vinyls be used with regular polish? Is the hollow effect going to be ruined when I apply regular top coat? And the answer is no, I mean, Yes, yes, you can use it with regular top coat. Here is the vinyl applied to just regular polish with a regular top coat. I'll have these polishes linked down below. And my favorite though is this white and gold hollow nail. This is actually what I wanted to do, but then I thought it was just too simple. So then I just got crazy and used the mirror powder. And that completes the tutorial for the most extra manicure ever. Perfect for those gold hollow terminators. I know we all have one deep down inside. I'll also link the other video I did using this technique down below, but with silver hollow vinyls. And if you are gonna use these with regular polish, I do recommend adding another layer of top coat once you're complete because it's just gonna smooth it out a little bit more. I noticed with the gel, it's completely smooth with one coat of top coat, but the polish, you're gonna need to. And you can also check me out on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at twy underscore star. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Uh, bye bye